You know, Bill and I both really loved art. It was really our desire to have something that would support this university community in a, in a major way. Creation of an Institute of Contemporary Art at VCU as opposed to a museum uh, was a very new concept to me when I first heard about it. Uh, but I quickly learned the value, uh, the opportunities, and the importance uh, that this institute could bring. This was a place that had been in the cultural imagination and had been wanted for, by some accounts, about 30 years. I've been with the ICA since when it was literally a hole in the ground and we were doing tours with donors to try to get them to imagine the space um, that would come. I can almost see us walking around upstairs on our first hard hat tour and everything was open and we were looking out at the city and, and we were you know, really proud of the fact that we, we had been part of what it took to envision this emblem of the artistic community. That magnificent building at that intersection uh, really did uh, make a major step towards the, the redevelopment and the changing of the nature of, of that neighborhood. It's now um, the grand entrance to the city of Richmond. It's a grand entrance uh, to VCU. Opening day helped me understand and explain the value of the ICA and, and what it can bring to, to Richmond. The sign on the wall in the upper level, to me, sort of said it all. This was a facility that um, was open to everybody. It was all about inclusivity. It was about bringing people together to share ideas. I also think about how joyful both Bill and I were at the opening. You know, we, I, I have a picture of us standing out front and it was like a party was going on in a big, big way. There were all kinds of people celebrating. I think for the VCU community, the ICA is a kind of a gateway to what's happening in contemporary art around the world. And I think for the community here in Richmond, ICA is a chance to connect ideas that concern us here in Richmond with conversations that are happening in other places. Many of the shows that we do are um, include artists for first museum shows, first museum solo shows. Um, and we also think about artists that are really thinking through the terms of production, how it relates to history, how it relates to contemporary culture and um, visions of the future. There are a lot of institutes of contemporary art, but this one's for contemporary art, which to me sounds much more deliberate and purposeful. It sounds like we're making things happen. The ICA is really more and more playing a part in a national, international conversation about art and culture. And that's partly due to the fact that we're bringing artists here to Richmond, sometimes for the first time to show in the United States, sometimes to have their first museum show. We're also opening our new community media center in partnership with VPM. And that's gonna be a place here in the ICA in the Murray de Pillars Learning Lab where Anybody can come and get the skills and the training uh, to develop storytelling capacities in media. The Community Media Center was born from the idea that we wanted to help people in our community, particularly students from VCU, harness the power of media to share their experiences. Because I think we all agree that our society and cultural fabric are enriched when more voices are heard. When I think about the future, I think about all the ways that we can take what we've learned, particularly during the pandemic, to bring art to people where they are, to make sure that art sustains people. It's been incredible what donor support and philanthropy has made possible at the ICA. The sense and purpose that it brings to the community uh, to open ideas to everybody and to open conversations for everybody. Mark Hill Corporation is certainly proud to be part of it. Being one of those founding supporters of the ICA was important to us, in part to, to model the kind of behavior that we hoped we would get from others in the community. I can't help but always be motivated by what Bill said, and that was, if you can give a young person an opportunity to look at art, they will forever see the world differently. 
they'll forever identify opportunity.